How many of you use Dropbox or Google Drive? I think many people. We, I, I also use it. But how many of you think, how many of you trust on them? I don't. <laughs> For example, the, the cloud knows exactly what you uploaded. And probably the NSA too, probably the government, or even worse, your girlfriend. No? So what can we do about it? We can take care, be careful, and first encrypt our data, and then upload it. But OK, what if we have to modify it at some point? You have to download the data, decrypt it, then modify it, encrypt it again, and then upload it again. And that will take a lot of resource and a lot of time, and actually will defeat the whole purpose of outsourcing your data. OK, what else can we do? We can decrypt it in the cloud and then changing it there? Yeah, but that, even if it's a short period of time, we can that it will defeat the whole purpose of encryption. OK, so ideally, we would like to modify data when it's encrypted, to perform any computation on encrypted data. That is called fully homomorphic encryption. If you think about it, it is really hard. It is like trying to perform a task when you are blindfolded, because you don't know what's going on. Fortunately, a recent breakthrough Proved the proof of con uh, brought the proof of concept, so at least we know it's possible. But uh, there, is a, there is a con. It is all the constructions we have are terribly inefficient. They may take hours and a lot of space to just modify one single bit. And OK, that, that doesn't sound like a good idea. The purpose of my research is to make it practical, to improve on the methods, and to find applications. We're designing algorithms that exploit the fact that we can do parallel computation because Google or Dropbox are very likely to have many cores and many computers that we can use to compute. So we have to design an algorithm that exploits that fact. We're also trying to handle multiple bits at a time because the current constructions can handle just one single bit and we want to handle multiple bits at a time. And finally, we would like to find applications of our construction, applications that can use our construction to real world problems. For example, uh, medical processing. Uh, if, if, we have, if a hospital has a lot of images of their patients, it can process and analyze the data without revealing uh, information about the patient. That, among any, uh, many other possibilities, uh, because we want to use the cloud, but we want to also uh, keep confidentiality. Thank you.